really tired this morning. Two scoops every morning for probiotics. A little bit of Prozac to get the day going. <laughs> Ducky, don't bark at her. <laughs> hey. It's okay, bud. Ducky, she doesn't want to play with you. And if you bark at her, she really won't want to play with you. Gosh, I love Ducky to death, but he is such a monster right now. I just got back from Pilates, took a shower. I feel like I say this every single time I get home from Pilates, but once again, I thought I was going to die today. Like, more than usual, it was brutal. Um, but I'm really glad it's over. I love going in the morning. It just feels so good to get it over with. The 6.20 class, like, sucks getting up for, but once I'm there, like, it's 7.20 and I've already done Pilates and showered, so it just makes me feel very productive. Um, I'm going to go with Ducky to get coffee now, my second coffee of the day. I'm going to go on a little walkie walk, get some of his craziness out. And he has a trainer coming at 12. It's his first day of Ducky training today. So I don't know how long the training sessions are. There's only six of them. Um, so I really, I don't know. If it's like long, assuming I have to be like involved the whole time, but I really don't know how it works. So we will see. I have like really no idea other than the trainer's coming at 12. I like to read when I blow dry my hair because I don't know, I just hate blow drying my hair. It makes it pass, it makes the time pass. I just finished um You'd Look Better as a Ghost, that book I was reading that was recommended by the Barnes & Noble woman. It was like fine. It was good. I feel like there wasn't much of a plot to it, to be honest. Um, but it was like good. But Ruth Ware, love this woman. And she just came out with a new book called One Perfect Couple. I don't even know what it's about. I just saw Ruth Ware had a new book and I was like, I've got to get this. I'm going to read this while I blow dry right now. That it, excuse me. No, no, no. This is my stuffed animal. Oh, you're naughty. Becky, I buy you so many toys. You have the most toys out of any boy in the world. Why can't you just stick to your toys? I get you a new toy every day. You're a spoiled, spoiled boy. You ready to go get some coffee? <laughs> is up these link suggestions make me lol because why the hell would i ever want to share my youtube video to reddit that would just be no way in hell is it going on reddit <laughs> You are being a good boy, Ducky. That's a very good boy. Ducky, you ready to go into Whole Foods, get some groceries? Blueberries, pumpkin puree for you, and maybe some sushi for me. Yeah. 
Does that sound good? <laughs> Come on, Ducky. Hi. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, Ducky. Good boy. Come on. Ducky still hasn't eaten breakfast and it's 12, so I'm gonna try this pumpkin puree. Let's see how it goes. I really hope this works because this man, you need to eat. You are a growing boy. I also have a theory he might not like his stainless steel bowls because he only drinks out of the ceramic bowl I have, so I'm feeding him in one of my ceramic bowls to see if that's an issue too. <gasps> Yummy, Ducky! Luna's interested, but not Ducky. Ducky, come on! I also gave, I looked it up, pumpkin puree is good for kitties too, so Cleo is loving it. I gave Luna a bowl too, she's not really interested, but Cleo absolutely loves it. She's the only one. Come on, Ducky, you need to eat! Previously on Under the Bridge. Why did you come here? Because I had a friend who used to live here when I was a kid. You live in New York? Hey, that am so I'm about to take Ducky on his second walk. I'm gonna drive to Palisades because I just want a change of scenery and I love walking around there. Um, but I just got a little PR package from, I never know how to say it. It's like, I know it's not Malin and Goats, but I don't know how the hell to say it. Um, what did they send me? I'll have to bring this home to my mom because she's obsessed with them. Um, eucalyptus hand and body scrub. Yum. Wait, I kind of want to, I kind of want to keep this for myself, but I know my mother will love it. Oh, tough decision. A eucalyptus smoothing body gel. Oh, that was very sweet. I just got to Palisades to go for a walk. Um, yeah, I wish I could just walk five miles with the man, but I can't. I think he can walk like a mile and a half more. So I'm gonna go, I want to get to five miles, and I've gone two, so I'm going to walk him a mile and a half and then carry him a mile and a half, which will then be an arm workout because you're getting to be a big boy now. Yeah, you're not seven pounds anymore. One thing I'm trying to get better at that I'm so bad about right now is putting my clothes away once they come out of the wash. I have a basket above my washing machine. I just put them in there. <laughs> so now I'm making myself to put them on my bed and I can't go to sleep, obviously, until my clothes are put away. find the best method is to just like categorize everything first. Ducky, I do not need your help with this. It's just about to be like, I never know when I should <laughs> wash my face or not. Which is true because like, I often take a shower at like 4 p.m., 5 p.m. and do my skincare right like, before I eat dinner. And then I'm like, do I really need to do it again? But that's kind of just me being lazy. Um, but then I looked in the mirror and realized I have chocolate all over my face, so I guess I will be doing my skincare this evening. Um, I just ran out of my road cleanser, so I'm reverting back to the Skin Fix Barrier Plus. This is also such a good cleanser if you have sensitive dry skin. I'm so bad at, like, actually sitting down and doing nighttime skincare, I realized I kind of just say F it and, like, have to do it, but I don't really like actively sit and wash my face. That's really bad. Well, I do it when I'm like in the shower, but yeah, it's like at like 4 p.m., 3 p.m. 8.30, I'm so tired. Celia and I just watched a show and ate dinner. Um, and I was gonna go to Target because it just sounded really fun and like home goods, a little fun trip, but I don't know, I lost all motivation. It smells like kind of my Perfume was like really, yeah, this one broke. Damn. I had a um, Baccarat Rouge little thing. That sucks. I'm gonna clean that in the morning. Um, anyway, I'm just really tired and I think like allergies are really killing me. I took another nap today. 
I'm not a napper ever, but this week I've really been napping. I don't know how they're crazy allergies. I'm going to try taking a Zyrtec tomorrow and see if it helps. But just did my little nighttime clean. I'll do a video of that sometime. Um, because there's no worse feeling than waking up to like a messy house. I think like at least maybe I'm just a control freak, but like I will not have a good day if I wake up and it's messy. Like, but I'll have an amazing day if I wake up and it's clean. Also, pro tip: if you have an early workout class or like you're just trying to make yourself work out in the morning, lay your clothes up the night before because it makes it so much easier and gives you like, I don't know, sometimes I'll be like, oh, I don't want to pick up workout clothes and I'll make that like an excuse to not go. Um, well, now I won't because now I'm paying for Pilates, but like before, just like my mom's get up and do an early morning hike or something. Put your clothes up the night before. It helps so much. So. I have Pilates at 7 I am tomorrow. Just took my lemmy sleep. And now I'm gonna get a bowl of blueberries and read my book. <laughs>